Alright, hi guys, this is Jake from CVB1K2J, and I'm going to be doing uh, a sort of a DOS box tutorial type thing. Um, it's just gonna, it's kind of like a, a tutorial on how to set up an old um, 8 bit game on a, a, a Windows 7 computer, which is either 32 bit or 64 bit. Um, so, what you want to do is you want to download a program called DOSBox. Um, DOSBox basically is like a 8-bit game uh, emulator, and it allows you to run uh, run the old games through a, a launch file, which can't be run just normally. So what you want to do is you want to download a DOS game um, through like any just look up any like normal sort of look up Civilization for example. And uh, you download it, you get a, a WinRAR file. I'll probably put this, uh, upload this to Mediafire, and then put a link in the description. And you get all this. Now you want to extract that to. You, first, you want to go into your your C drive, and then create a folder called either Old Games or DOS Games or whatever. Just something that's uh, easy to remember. And you want to uh, create a file, and then you want to extract everything inside the WinRAR into the old games file so that creates a folder called civilization. I've also got Duke Nukem in here but we won't worry about that. So what you want to do is you want to create the folder and then you want to find the name of the um of the exe file uh, which you're going to execute when you get the I think it's just called SCIV. Oh, what not snuff. Whoops. So yeah you can see here it's application so we'll remember that now to launch the game you want to go to DOSBox alright sorry about that guys um, I just forgot what you had to do so I was just quickly reading over this little screenshot I have here so what you want to type in after you type in uh, what you've mounted hold on I'm just gonna do quickly close it and reopen it so I can show you guys uh, you want to type you want to type Z Wait, sorry, you want to type Z, no, you want to type mount C, C, and then you want to type whatever you put in as your as your folder where you stored the, the game civilization. So I called mine old games as you can see by here. So I just type that in there. And what this basically does is it mounts it to the um so that Whenever it navigates something, it mounts it so that it's searching this folder. And so, what you want to do is you now want to type C and then a, a colon, I think it's a colon or a semicolon, and then a, a, ba a backward slash, and then that will mount it to the, your C hard drive. Um, now, after that, you want to type in, you want to type in CD. Uh, civilization which will be the name of your folder so you it would say it will say here directory name is longer than eight characters see so you, if your name is longer than eight characters you can just substitute it with writing uh, the first say like four characters and then doing a uh, tilde key and then a one so that basically just reads the first characters that you've put on there and then uh, matches that to the file in the folder. So there you go, it can, you can see now that it's mounted to the folder where the, the um, execution folder is for civilization. So after that you're going to want to type you're going to want to type uh, CIV as the execution executable file for civilization is CIV.exe um, so that it knows it's, it has to execute it, and then after that, all you got to do is press enter. Uh, so you can, as you can see here, you can select uh, your graphics mode. Um, if you have a like a normal Windows computer, you're going to want to press one. So I'm pretty sure all of you going to want to press one or two. I don't know if t if I think you have to press two if you Mac, but VGA is uh, for Windows. So you press one. And you can choose whether you want sounds or not. I just use press one, and you can choose whether you want keyboard or mouse. I usually just press that. And now you can see that uh, the game has launched, and you are now playing a, a DOS game from probably back in the 80s or the 90s when it came out. So yeah, 
thanks for watching. Uh, if you watched, leave a like if you like this uh, commentary or like this uh, t t tutorial. Um, I might do some other ones on doing this type of thing again. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Uh, see you around.